Juan Rodriguez. I was born and raised in Guatemala, uh, a beautiful country with amazing diversity, with amazing people, and with amazing opportunities. Uh, almost 70% of the population uh, is uh, indigenous, and also around 70% of the population uh, lives in some level of poverty. Uh, and there's a super high correlation between you know, access to basic services and development. And that's actually what uh, Kingo is focusing on. You know, about 20% of the Guatemalan population does not have access to power. It's almost two and a half million people. Um, there's this, uh, a very clear uh, relationship between access to power, uh, education, health, uh, development, uh, and of course, quality of life. And Kingo's trying to eradicate the lack of access to electricity through a sustainable and scalable uh, business model while using uh, renewable energy. Es un gusto, bienvenido aquí en Castillo Limón. Es una bendición conocer gente que están pensando en la aldea o apoyar a la familia. Entonces eso nunca pensamos aquí en la aldea que va a unir Kingo. Pues si Kingo está trabajando bien aquí en la aldea, hay 15 familias. Está funcionando bien Kingo. Entonces, gracias porque están pensando bien a la gente, porque a mí me sirve bastante la luz para hacer mi oficio, para mis hijos, ellos todos madrugamos en que la aldea y es importante que tenemos aquí en nuestras casas. Gracias por esos caballeros. I think that uh, like most startups, um, one of the key elements is people, right? It's a, it's a thing about having the right people in the right seat uh, with the right mindset. Um, and not only inside the company, but also the types of investors that you need to have um, in order to be able to grow out and understand uh, you know, the strategy, a uh, rapid growth strategy, multi-country strategy. But once you reach a certain stage that you need more cash, uh, you come, you know, to uh, IDBs and development banks that are truly your, you know, stepping ground for bigger markets, and they allow, they have allowed us, you know, partners like FMO and Proparco, um, to truly validate the model um, before, you know, having a bigger expansion, and also they are a trust. Um, a seal of approval, say, uh, for other investors, because you know, as this, uh, as these development banks have strict standards and international standards, so they also helped us to organize, uh, you know, all the company from within the legal framework, uh, financial framework, to really be ready to receive uh, additional funding from from bigger funds or from VCs.